What does that mean on the map? Look, like this thing here. That says area to be avoided. <laughs> <laughs> book was a gift. This seafaring gentleman had been told about buried treasure on this island in the middle of nowhere. He described this one way, breaking off the salvage island. I said, did you read that bit about that wave? And he went, yes. Through surfers' eyes, that sounds like an amazing surfing wave to me. My antenna are going, do, 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 do. There's definitely the potential to find the next freak giant wave. That's where we're going, eh? The kids, are hopefully, they'll join us. Dad just sent me a message saying the project's on. I think it's stupid. How's it looking, Matt? It's looking scary. Matt and I have a different sense of the risks that we're prepared to put our children under. When something happens that's out of your control, it changes the way that you think about your invincibility. Uh, I just get it off. Same thing, no that. First things that go through your mind is, is it paralyzed? This whole thing is gamble. If it was easy and if it was guaranteed, it would have been done 30 years ago. If you look at the map, it says very clearly, these are uncharted waters. So the risks are enormous. If things do go wrong at sea, you can turn into hell pretty quickly. Big wave surfing is a numbers game. If you don't end up getting some serious waves, you're not being taken seriously. Think of giving it up then? No. It didn't go through your head. You think that a disaster has happened in your life. But sometimes it can open up new opportunities. Coming together is a really important part of healing as a family. We're actually within touching distance. There's loads of exciting things looking over there. Whatever happens now is you know, history, you know?